American Civil War years, the Michigan experience is about patriotism, dedication, sacrifice, and service to our country as manifested in the American Civil War. It's about people committed to something bigger than themselves or their state, and why these citizens left their homes and families to join the Army and were willing to die for their battle buddies to the left or the right of them. The American Civil War years, the Michigan experience exemplifies the U.S. Army's values, which are timeless. Army values make up the core of the Army. It is what we as soldiers live by um, within our career as well as on the civilian side. Um, they, they make up loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Um, one of the uh, fascinating things that I, I, I think about as an artillery officer now is how artillery has been used in the past. Um, artillery in the past, uh, going all the way back to uh, uh, England and, and having knights on, on horses, they had mortars, uh, and all the way up through the Civil War and today, um, one of the biggest factors was fear. Uh, they would literally line cannons up and you would see them, you would be looking down the barrels of large guns like this, um, and you would march in a row up a hill, especially at Gettysburg, uh, towards those cannons. And they would shoot those cannons, and you could see the projectiles coming right at you, and you could see what they were doing to the people to your left and to your right. Uh, the personal courage and the, the discipline that it would take for an ordinary person, especially uh, a citizen soldier who had just left their farm, and traveled to a, a place that they had never been before, um, probably hungry, probably tired, uh, homesick for sure, maybe sick uh, because he was you know, sleeping out in the rain and, and didn't get the right kind of nutrition, um, and yet to continue to walk into the face of that fire um, is amazing. The Army values are loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Throughout history, those soldiers have held those same values. These 21 soldiers behind us has given the ultimate sacrifice, as in they gave their life for their country. They said to themselves, even if I can't make it home, that their brothers and sisters in arms will make it home. They will never see their families again, and their families will long for them. But we will be a family to them. And if you look at the different wars going back from the Civil War all the way to the Iraqi war and the Afghanistan war today, we are fighting for a greater purpose and every soldier believed he was doing it. But ultimately, we're fighting for the soldiers to our left and to our right, our brothers and sisters in arms. And even if I can't make it home, I will let them make it home because I train with them, I know them. I know about their families, their moms, their dogs, their cats. I know about all these different things. And those are the things that really lock us in to make us say, you know what, I will give that ultimate sacrifice for my brothers and sisters in arms. We'd like to thank the Grand Blank West Middle School and the students in Mr. Munley's multimedia production class. And we'd like to thank you for watching. To learn more, go to our website, imichiganproductions.org. Hi, I'm Zoe Powers, an eighth grade student at Grand Blank West Middle School. I've enjoyed learning about the Civil War this year. Find out more about the role Michigan played as a political and economic force in building the new nation. Join me for American Civil War Years, the Michigan Experience.